Hi, everybody. Welcome to Cruise Week TV Live. We have Bernard coming on the show today. Bernard is at the Port of St. Martin. If you have any questions about St. Martin or uh, how to get a good uh, the tours on there, uh, you're going to want to definitely tune into the show tonight. All right, we are live. All right, and let me see if I got right, to pull Periscope up. Greetings, viewers. Okay. All right. Are people coming in? Yeah. All right. Periscope is being a pain. All right. It's not in Facebook. What's going on, Facebook? Welcome to CruiseWeek.tv Live. All right, change the link. Got it. What's going on? Hi, Celia. How are you? Did you have a good week? Sweet. Crumber. Ha ha ha. Neela, welcome to the show. Mm. Ernie, what's going on? How are you? How was everyone's week? Did you guys have as busy a week as I did? <laughs> Am I coming back to Montreal in May? Oh my gosh. Uh, Montreal. I would love to come back to Montreal at some point. I don't know if it's going to be as soon as May, but I I keep having thoughts about Montreal. Uh, Nick, welcome. Lori, welcome. Mm. How's it going, Robert? Molly, you're one week closer closer to your next cruise. How does that feel? Hmm. Casey Jarvis, how are you doing, sir? Mm. So how many of you guys have cruises booked up in the next few in the upcoming future? And how many of them are gonna go to the destination of St. Martin? Because we have St. Martin on our uh, agenda to talk about today. And so if you have any questions for Bernard on the island of St. Martin, today is the day to ask those questions. So get those ready, because as soon as we go live, you guys are gonna be able to ask Bernard your questions. Hmm. Well, maybe I will be back in Montreal at some point, hopefully soon. I'm not sure. <laughs> in June. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Not really. Let's see. Dana, how are you? Refresh that. There we are. Craig, how are you? Molly, one week from now, you'll be double fisting some drinks and dancing your way to Jamaica. That's nice. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. It's true. Tough guys do wear pink. <laughs> Roxanne, welcome to the show. Ron, you'll be going to St. Martin in February. If there's anything you want to know about that destination, today's the day to get your questions ready. Be sure to type your questions in chat if you have any any questions about the destinations of St. Martin, and we'll be sure to get to you guys today. Bernard is an expert tour guide on the island. He has lived on the island and worked there for years, and now he owns his own tour company there. So you guys are going to be learning a lot from this man. Mm -hmm. Ooh, getting ready for Mardi Gras, Dana. A little wild and crazy on me. <laughs> Ron, February 2018. You booked the cruise a year out. Wow. 
I don't think I've ever booked a vacation that far out. That's pretty exciting. I mean, it's a good thing to do. You have something to look forward to. Welcome, Paula and Gail. Welcome into the show. In case you guys uh, were wondering, we have uh, Bernard from St. Martin on the show today, so be sure to have your questions ready for him. Good evening, Charisse, and good evening, Frank. Welcome. Ah, uh, Periscope, I can't really see it. What's going on? Hello to everyone on Periscope as well. Hope you guys had a pretty good week. Hmm. If your week was anything like mine, I know it was busy. But keep in mind, you're a week closer to your next cruise or your next vacation, wherever that may be. Uh, drink of choice tonight, by the way, in case you guys were wondering at all, is a, uh, it's just a plain black raspberry liqueur. Mm. It's good, though. <laughs> uh, how do I pronounce Shally? I, I, uh, well, I pronounce it like Sally, but with a, if I had a list, like Shally. Not like Chalet, like Chalet Mignon. Sonia, Oklahoma. What? Uh, Norman, Oklahoma. Where is Norman, Oklahoma? I have not heard of... I've been to Oklahoma. I've never heard of no Norman, though. All right. Welcome, Al Andy Chalet. He said Chalet. I'll try to remember it like that. <laughs> welcome, Kathy. And welcome, Ken Jarvis and Periscope. How are you? Sonia, I hope you had a great week. Mm. Charlie, Charles, I see you typed that. <laughs> Hi, Bob, how are you? Hello from Merrickville, Ottawa. Sean, all the way from Ottawa. Wow, we have, all, we have people in Canada here. Montreal, Ottawa. Oh, goodness. Mm. For those of you just joining who wanted uh, any information about the port, the uh, cruise destination of St. Martin, this is the week that you want to be on because we have Bernard as our special guest joining us live from St. Martin. So be sure to have your questions ready for Saint, for uh, Bernard if you want, any, want to know anything about St. Martin. And our show is going to start in the next 20 seconds. Look, 15 seconds. <laughs> On today's super exciting show, we take a deep dive into the port of St. Martin. We have guest Bernard, who lives and works on the island, to tell you all about it and answer your questions live. We have another Show Us Your Face segment and more details of our next cruise coming up in March and what we plan on doing there with you all. So get ready. This is Cruise Week Live. Well, we hope you cruisers have had a great week. And remember, you are now one week closer closer to your next cruise. I'm Joe, and this show is all about learning the ins and outs of cruising together. We bring on fun and exciting guests who are experts in their field, and we let you ask them questions live to get detailed answers that you have always wanted to know. Our guest this week is Bernard from the Port of St. Martin. He lives on the island and runs his own tour company. So he'll be able to answer all your questions about this amazing place and give you tips and ideas on what to do at your day on the island. Thanks for joining us today, Bernard. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loudly and clearly. And let me say welcome to the guests and our, our, our viewers who are watching Cruise Week right here. Well, cruiseweek.tv. I am excited to be on this show. And Joe, it's a real pleasure. Thank you so much. 
Well, Bernard, we are excited to have you on the show, and we're excited that you're joining us all the way from St. Martin. So I, I hear it's a beautiful cruise destination, and our viewers have lots of questions for you. Indeed, it is a beautiful destination. I mean, beautiful is a mild word. It is exciting. It's fantastic. It's everything you can think of. Earlier, I talked about a heaven. That's what it is, a heaven in the Caribbean. And um, we are always so willing to share our lovely island with the rest of the world. And so even as I speak, I was telling you that there is carnival happening um, right, right across on, on, on the other side. If you, if you listen very carefully, you might be hearing the, the sound of pulsating music and, and, and just the life of the people coming up. So you're missing too much. <laughs> well, Bernard, we have our first question coming in from Karen Bartell. She'd like to know more about the island. Uh, she says there's a lot to focus on from Mallow Beach and she loves the shopping port, um, but she doesn't feel like she has seen enough of the rest of the island. Are there some quiet beaches on the island, like uh, the all-inclusive ones like uh, Nachi Kokum and, and Cozumel? Right, right, right. Um, well, I wouldn't talk about Coz Cozumel, but, but certainly there are um, other quiet beaches. Everybody wants to go to, to um, Mahu and, and uh, Orion Beach. But like I said, there are lots of other beaches. I can speak, I can think of, of Pinel. Pinel Island is a very a beautiful beach. It's quiet, it's reserved, and not many people are there. Um, I think I lost you. Are, are you hearing me? I can hear you just fine, Bernard. Can you oh, hear okay, me all good. right? All right, good, we are there. So th there is Pinel Island. We have some, uh, another island, um, another beach called, uh, let's say, um, Friars Bay. Yes, we have one called Friars Bay. And uh, we have some, some but besides my Le Galion. Le Galion is another beautiful beach and, and it's quiet. It's, it really doesn't attract all of the, the types of visitors that you'd want to. And let me tell you something more about Le Galion. Le Galion is this kind of beach that is um, what I call, I call child friendly. You come with your family and the children, you can sit at the beach and allow the children to walk in the water because it's so shallow. It's a beautiful beach. So besides Le Galion, we also have another beach called um, Friars Bay and, and, and Bay, Rouge. Bay Rouge. So these are just a few of the other um, quiet and private beaches that we have on St. Martin. So uh, we have some questions coming in from more of our viewers. Uh, Andy Tavares wants to know, uh, what is the best tour to take on the island? And I know you might be a little bit biased here. Indeed. What's the best indeed. tour? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is so obvious. It's got to be Bernard Stars, all right? I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why Bernard Stars is the best tour. We, we cater for every individual taste. Whatever you want to do up to the very minute that you return to the ship, we take care of that for you. That is why, because it's, it's about what we, you want. Whatever you want to do, we're there with you. Case closed. And so Molly has a cruise coming up later this time of year. And I don't think her cruise necessarily goes to St. Martin, but she wants to know what would be the best time of year to travel to St. Martin? Well, we don't have, um, we don't have um, the, like you guys, the four seasons. We don't have that. We have just the, the, the rainy season and the, and, the, and the dry season. Now, that was a long time ago before climate change came about. Now, throughout the year, we have rains at different intervals. But certainly, <laughs> in, the, in the peak season, which is from October to down to April, down to April is the ideal time to visit St. Martin. So on your tours, I have to ask, now, uh, Andy wants to know if there's anything that is an absolute must see. What are the absolute, what are the things you absolutely must see when you visit St. Martin? The must see is Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. That's a very Bernard good answer. Is one, one of the must is, is got to be Bernard, all right? After Bernard, you must see, you must go to Orion Bay. The Orion Bay is what some people call um, I don't want to say it. Let me spell it. N-A-K-E-D beach. <laughs> you got it, right? I, I got it. it. <laughs> All right. So, I think um, I got it. it. It's really a beauty. Uh, let me tell you, it's a beautiful beach. It's the place where most St. Martiners and, and visitors socialize. 
they come together at the beach. People, I mean, families go there, visitors, and it's a beautiful, beautiful setting. The water is, is great. Um, there's, there's all kinds of, of um, water sports, um, music on the beach, and restaurants, and everything to eat. I mean, even places to sleep. Let me give you a joke about Orient Bay. There's this guy I remember who comes from, I think, uh, is somewhere in the US, you know, not Florida for sure. But he comes from, from the year, and he comes for six months. And you know what he says? He What's comes, that? yeah, he comes with one set of clothes. He come, that's all he travels with. And for the six months that he stays at Orient Bay, he never puts clothes on until he <laughs> returns. <laughs> wow, that is something well, else. I've not heard uh, of anything uh, like that but before. The good, the, um, besides that, I don't want you to think that it's all naked. That's not true. It's some, some sections of the beach are for, for nudity and other sections are for, you know, for dressed and covered people. Oh, right? very good. Good, very good. I know you don't <laughs> want to go in this section, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we'll, another, we'll see how many drinks I've had and we'll see what section I end up wandering into. And, and if I give you some music, we'll see what you could do. <laughs> We had a question come in from Periscope, Bernard. This one comes from Fish Cruise, and he wonders uh, how the weather is in June. I understand it must get quite uh, warm down there during the summertime. Indeed. Um, uh, like I, I, I alluded to earlier, the, before, we had the, the rainy season, and then you had a, a dry season. But since climate change, it's no more. You have rain throughout the year, but it's not as intense as, say, in February, in, in, in January, these months. So in June, you'll get a little more. And of course, with the hurricane season, you get that, that um, the, the, the seas get a little more choppy and um, a little more, you know, um, unstable. But certainly, um, yeah, go ahead. Oh, that's understandable. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, no, typical weather that time of year. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Um, I, I didn't complete the other question about a must-see in St. Martin. Is, oh, sure. the, is the, 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 the arrival of the, uh, of the planes, the, 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 the jets, as they come in. Man, this is fantastic. Let me tell you something. You know how I describe it to someone? You stay at, at Maho Beach, and the, those planes, um, upon the, the descent onto the airport, you could actually look at me here, stretch your hand and almost touch the wheel. Wow, that's exciting. In fact, Jessica, I'm glad you addressed that because because Jessica had actually uh, was asking that question about the airplane. So I was gonna, that was going to be the next thing I asked you. So I, I hope that uh, that covered her question. I, I, what was I, the name I, of the I, beach one more time? It's Maho Beach. M-A-H-O. M-A-H-O, Maho Beach. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, and, and um, sometimes I call it, it's a dangerously fantastic beach. Now, Bernard, uh, uh, the, the island of St. Martin has a very interesting history. Now, as I understand it, uh, I, uh, what I read about, about it earlier this week and what you were telling me before the show started, with, uh, uh, we were telling me about the French and Dutch sides of the island. Can you tell me a little bit more about the island's history? All right, the, the, the island is a very small island. I mean, 30, only 30, 35 square miles. And, um, and many years ago, the, actually the Caribbean was um, colonized by, by those European colonies, either the Spanish, the, the British, the Dutch, the, um, the, the French, all of these, they occupied various islands. But in the case of St. Martin, these guys, the Dutch and the, and the, and the French, they lived together harmoniously, and until they decided, you know what, man, let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. Let's have, let's separate the island, and let's 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 divide it. One one the the French got um, 21, 21 square miles, and the Dutch got seventeen square miles. And but but most is interesting is the way they did the deal. They separated it with the with stones going right across miles and miles of stones. And like I told you, it's not a, it's not a huge wall, okay? <laughs> so it's not like Donald Trump's wall necessarily. All right. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not. But it's a little not a light wall. humor there. Yeah, a little bit of humor, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's, it's certainly interesting that um, the two islands coexist so harmoniously. No 
No problems. No, absolutely no problems. Tell you what, um, criminals, criminals actually from one side to the other can move. And even the police, they, 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 they work together to apprehend criminals very nicely. So you can't even escape. <laughs> you would think on a large scale, we would have learned a lesson by now. <laughs> now, think, now, Patty yes. asked a very yeah. important question that, I, that comes, this one, I, I can familiarize myself with this question very easily. The best cuisine on the island, because I'm a foodie, and so I have to ask Pat, Pat, like what Patty wanted to know, what is the best cuisine to get on the island? What would be one of the best restaurants to visit? Somewhere the locals would go, maybe. I, honestly, this is a difficult question. You know why? There are so many. I can't answer this a best. Saint Ma I'll tell you, you perhaps know Joe and, um, and viewers that the French, the French have, are well known for cuisine. They, um, there's this little village in just of Marigot, the capital of St. Martin. It's called um, Grand Cas. Let me tell you something. This place is littered, littered with restaurants, beautiful restaurants. And I didn't tell you earlier that every Tuesday, there's a grand um, um, a Mardi Gras. What do you call the Mardi Gras? From Mardi Gras or Fat Tuesday, yes. That's right. That's a, every Tuesday from, from uh, November to April. It's a big, a huge festival and lots and lots of people. And that is where we're talking about cuisine. That's where you taste. You get a real taste of French. You get a taste of the Caribbean. You get a taste of, of St. Martin. It's, and most interesting is the way the locals and the tourists mix together. You in, you'll enjoy it. So there really isn't one, one restaurant. The most I can tell you is you can go to a village, the, the Grand Cas, um, on the French side, even on the Dutch side as well, you get some very good restaurants. Mm -hmm. Even last night, I was at the Big Fish, at the Big Fish on the Dutch side, and trust me, it was great. So there are lots of lovely restaurants there. Lots and lots of lovely restaurants. That is good to know, especially for someone who, who like me or Patty, Probably uh, Patty, since she had the question, loves food. We, since we love food, that is a, a good thing to know. Patty, Patty, what food do you like? <laughs> uh, I like all kinds of food, and in, fact, in, in the Caribbean, I'd probably be eating some some really good seafood. I imagine. That's so. right. Food. <laughs> yeah, and probably you, you you'd have to begin to learn um the eat the snapper. Uh, I think we lost Bernard. Oh, goodness. Uh, I think we, uh, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. Sorry about that, but we've, uh, we've lost Bernard. Um, hopefully, hopefully temporarily. We're going to work on getting him back. So if you have any questions that you've sent in so far, don't be discouraged. We're going to work on getting Bernard back. So hopefully we'll be able to ask him your questions. So, uh, yeah, we're working on that right now. Uh, goodness. Well, wow. okay. I hope you all have had a pretty decent week so far. Mine has been busy. If yours has been anything like mine, I know you guys are probably looking forward to your next cruise. So, oh. yes, yeah, sorry, um, we lost you for a while. Oh, we have Bernard back. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Welcome back, Bernard. <laughs> Thank you so much, and we're very sorry about that. That's okay. We have some technical difficulties once in a while. It happens. Yeah, that especially happens. when you're doing a live show, things like this tend to happen from time to time. Especially when we're talking about food. <laughs> of course. Of course it would happen during the important conversation. That's how life works, you know. That's right. <laughs> That's all right. Cheers. Yes. Cheers, man. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, look at that rum. All right. Yeah. Oh, by the way, let me show you. This is what we offer on our tour. We you offer, offer that on the tour. Yeah, we offer this on the tour. Everybody, to drink during the tour. Except, except children. Except the children. The kids, they get this. And well, as get I understand it, the drinking age is a little higher in the Caribbean, too. It's, it's 18, or a little lower. It's 18. No, it's it? 16. It's 16. 16. Yeah. Parents, you can get your teenagers drunk. <laughs> no, seriously, you can get them 16. drunk now, and that way when they get older, they won't have want a taste for it. It's, uh, best, it's better that way. All right. 
<laughs> so Bernard, we have some more questions that came in during the sh um, during even some that came in during our little break. There, <laughs> I'm calling yeah. it our little break. That's it. Um, <laughs> So uh, one uh, one came from in from Jason Tyler. He wants to know if uh, now if he happens to book a tour, and the ship can't stop in Saint Martin, is the tour going to be refundable for him? Um, yes. Um, anything that is beyond the beyond the the the, the, the guest, we refund it. Well, as long as it's beyond the guest. As long as it's something out that is out, outside of the, the guest control. That's right, outside of the guest. If it's the guest fault, if you're late for some reason, then we don't refund. But if it's a um, hurricane or if it's some, some emergency, come on. We understand that. Understandable. So now Catherine yeah. sent in this question. She, she wants to know, um, because she's been to St. Thomas and she, she likes to shop. And she knows St. Thomas is a great place for shopping. But what about St. Martin? Are there, places, are there areas on St. Martin that are great for shopping? Um, Catherine, let me say hi to Catherine. Is she the one who asked the question? Catherine is the one that asked the question. Yes, sir. Hi, Catherine. Let me tell you, Kat, um, Catherine, and to all the other viewers, that St. Martin is, is beautiful. It's one of the ideal places. In fact, one of the best places in the Caribbean for shopping. Let me tell you why. It's because by, by design and for a deliberate policy of the government, they've made the country a duty-free port. Anybody who walks in pays no taxes whatsoever, absolutely no taxes. So everything is duty-free. So best place to shop. When am, I going to see you? when am I going to see you, Catherine? <laughs> so everything is duty-free? Everything is duty-free. When can we move there? Sorry? When can we move there? Um, as of midnight tonight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now this one came, this question comes in, uh, this one we got on Periscope. This comes in from Ray. He wants to know, how can we book excursions with you or get pricing? This is very important. I, I was gonna ask you this more toward the end of the interview, but what is a good way to get in touch with you, Bernard? All right, it's very easy to get in touch with us. All you have to do, you, you, can, you can send us an email at info at bernardtours.com, all right? info at bernardtours.com or you want to call us at we have a, a u.s number the u.s number is 954-376-6582 i repeat the u.s number 954-376-6582 or email info at bernardtours.com yeah, but we have a local as well. Uh, well, I, it's not necessary if you want, yeah. Yeah, but that's it. That's, that's how you can reach us. Excellent. So aside, what about the culture of the island? Bernard, I have to ask, what are, what are the places, the great places to take in the culture? The, what, any places that might have live music or something that you can't find anywhere else in the Caribbean? Oh, indeed. Um, there are lots of, of, of places um, on St. Martin where you can, you can enjoy the culture. In fact, on Friday nights, and in fact, the weekends are ablaze with, with music. And not only the weekends, but throughout, we have, um, you know, you don't have a, 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 a discotheque like some other places, but certainly even, um, like I mentioned a while ago, on, on, at Orient Beach, the major beach on the island, there's always blaring music. Um, different persons at different um, um, restaurants, they do have their music, um, uh, uh, you know, blazing. But what is more important in terms of the culture is the, is the carnival. The carnival, like I told you, the Mardi Gras. And on the Dutch side, you have, they have theirs in April. It's, it's, it's just as beautiful. So there isn't really a, a particular place that you can say, we go to, to have fun. Or maybe the hotels. But certainly, the whole country is uh, a celebration of music and, and drama and everything. That's what it is on St. Martin. Did I answer your question? You sure did. I, I, I feel like you did anyway. Now, yeah. Luann, had, Luann had a question that's very important for, for those of us, not myself, but, <laughs> but there are some of us who have children, little ones. <laughs> Mm. What is the best way or the best excursion to get if somebody has young kids so the adults and the kids can both enjoy this? 
Okay. Um, the best excursion is um, a private tour. If uh, we, we do offer some very from private tour at reasonable rates um, for 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 person, families who really don't want to mingle and mix with with the others, and you don't want your children exposed say, to the nudity at um, at at Orient Bay. But mind you, I while I mentioned the nudity at Orient Bay. Not all of the beach, um, the, the, the beach is nude. In other words, well, not the beach, but the, the bathers at the beach are nude. It is some sections, I need to emphasize that. It's some sections that are nude. And um, if you care to stay away, you can do that. And we you have another, do... oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> then, um, then the other, the, uh, but to answer this question specifically, like I said, you can you can go to some of the private beaches that we mentioned a while ago, or to some sections of the of the Orient Beach. So uh, we have our next question comes in from Andy. Andy wants to know if there's a particular stone that the island is known for, because Andy likes to t likes jewelry and likes to bring back souvenirs. So is there anything any any particular stone the island is known for to uh, to bring back home as a souvenir? Um, we're known. Um, we're known for, like I just mentioned a while ago, we are very well known for um, duty-free shopping. And Saint Martin is known. Um, one of the the interesting aspects of shopping is jewelry. Um, there are lots of gemstones. Um, you get sapphire. You get um, topaz. There are lots and lots of gemstones. I don't know that there is any particular one that we're known for, but I can guarantee you, jewelry is not very expensive on St. Martin. <laughs> well, I'm sure we all like to hear that jewelry is not very expensive, whether it be St. Martin or anywhere, especially since yeah, St. Martin. No, seriously, it, it's really it's been lots of gemstones all over. We there, There's not one that we're particularly known for. Though. That's good. That's good. Well, I mean, that's that's excellent that you guys are duty-free and there's a lot, there's uh, not too much, um, you know, not, think, yes, <laughs> we don't I, have to I pay like, taxes on it. I like Sapphire. You like sapphire? That's your favorite. Yeah, that's my that's, favorite. All right, very nice. Um, so how is the fishing there? Great, great. Do you want to go fishing? <laughs> <laughs> I might yeah. potentially want to go fishing. Patty is actually yeah. the one that asked that question. She wants to know how the fishing is. She wants to go fishing. Uh, well, we do not offer um, a tough fishing, but we can always arrange it. Like I said a while ago, if anything you want, we can always arrange it for you because we know everybody. And uh, we have another question in from Roxanne. She wants to know what the best beach is for snorkeling. The best beach for snorkeling. Um, I'd say Bay Rouge. Yeah, I was thinking a little bit because there's, um, there's a tussle between Bay Rouge and um, the, the and, and what's it called? Uh, let me see. It's and Friars Bay. It's between Beirut and Faze, but I think Beirut is better. Your personal opinion? Yeah, yeah. Well, I would take your word for it since you've been there for quite it's a while. I can, also <laughs> offer, I can also offer Pinel, but my, from my, my opinion, I take my guess to Beirut. All right. Well, in that case, I, I, I'll take, I'll, I'll, I'll rather go with that, with, with that one if I ever happen to go snorkeling myself. When you, when you come down, come snorkel with me. I will have to, I'll, I'll go snorkeling. I, I'll definitely go snorkeling. I'm a scuba diver too. So if you got any beaches that are good for scuba diving, I'll do that as well. Oh, wow. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, well, for snorkeling, Divi, Divi Little Bay is just one of the best. Really. All right. It's Jessica, very close to, Divi Little Bay is very close to Phillipsburg, the capital of the Dutch side of the island. Okay. The French side has a capital. So you have separate capitals? Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, oh. the, French, the capital of the French side is, is Phillipsburg, and the, the capital of the Dutch side is Marigot. Nice. I, I learned something else yeah. new today. That was, ex that was uh, that's exciting to me. <laughs> <laughs> so Jessica also wanted to know, she, wa she wanted a little bit more information about the, uh, the, the nudity and or, or, like about the, um, the public beaches, if, how the nudity is. Like she wants no, more information. No, no. <clears throat> Sorry, only one public beach that has nudity. Only, only the one. one. Okay, only that. that's yeah. And the, the name of that beach one more time for, for Jessica. Yeah, Jessica, don't be worried. 
<laughs> All right. Well, Jessica, well, Jessica Bernard says, don't be worried. <laughs> Cerise wants to know, how many people do you have that work with you, Bernard? Uh, we have about 14 drivers with us. 14 drivers who work with wow. us. And they're all competent. And let me tell you, the best drivers on the island. And not just drivers, but best tour guides. That's what it, you know. You know what's interesting about these guys? They double up as as drivers and tour guides. They're not separate. They do the two together. Yeah. I actually we're number two on cruise critic. Did you know that? All right, Bernard. We have time for. It looks like we have time for one more question. All right. This one's going to come in from Periscope. It looks like it's coming in from Razor Ray. Uh, Ray wants to know. Is there a toll fee to cross over from the Dutch side onto the French side? <laughs> I laugh at this because <laughs> absolutely no, absolutely no. no. Let me tell you, this is what's so amazing about this island. You, you move from one country to the next so freely. So freely. That you, you do not even realize that you've crossed over. That's excellent. Uh, you see, and I have, I, I got to tell you, like, I mean, it, I, cause I've driven across the border between the United States and Mexico. And it's like, if you, you drive, go again. you go again, <laughs> and you, well, you know, when you drove, when you, oh, well, you know, if it, I can drive across there as long as the wall is not up yet. So uh, when you drive across the border, you have to pay to go there and you have to pay to come back. And it's of course, different fees, both ways, you know, going well, one way, it's. There are absolutely no fees, Joe absolutely no fees nothing whatsoever it's i mean it's just so amazing you wouldn't believe it two different nations in one small island no i mean living in harmony no problems that is excellent well bernard that was the last question that we had for you today so i want to thank you for joining us very quickly let me just tell you that all beaches are public oh good that's very uh, good I'm glad to hear that. But before we go, Bernard, I want to I want you to tell our viewers one more time. Now, when they visit St. Martin, how do they get in touch with you for a tour? All right. Again, be, uh, let me thank you for the opportunity, um, Joe, and uh, on all thank your Thank you, Bernard. At cruise at cruiseweek.tv, but um, it's easy to reach us. You can reach us at um, info i n f o at bernardtours.com info at bernardtoys.com or you can call us at a, an, our US number. The US number is 954-376-6582. I repeat, 954-376-6582. Or you can call us if you're on island. The local number is 721-586-0788. The, I repeat the local number, 721-586-0788. Excellent. Bernard, thank you so much for joining us. It's been very informative. You have a wonderful rest of your week. I, I look forward to hopefully chatting with you and, and visiting you when I come to St. Martin in the future. Most definitely. And I, I look forward to all of the viewers coming over to St. Martin. And all you have to say is, I saw you on cruiseweek.tv. And you get a prize, right? <laughs> Excellent. All right. We'll, all right. We'll look forward to seeing you there. All right. And now it's time for us to move on to our next segment on the show. This is going to be the show us your face segment. This week's face comes in from Sonia, pictured here with her cousin. Oh, goodness. She's in her Batman outfit. That <laughs> oh, that is priceless. I love it. That looks like they're having a great time, possibly a costume party on the ship, maybe around Halloween or uh, it's either way. It looks like you guys are having a wonderful time and be sure to if, if you guys want to be like Sonia and have your picture featured on our show, be sure to send in your pictures to photos at cruiseweek.tv and hopefully in the future, I will be seeing your photos on the show. Our next cruise where we will be live on the ship is just weeks away. Yes, we are going on the spring break cruise with Cruise Life Cargo and Kelly Brewer Travel. We're going to be live from New Orleans and on the ship all week from March 27th. And we'll be bringing you an amazing day 
an, an amazing day in Cozumel with our tour guide that day, who's going to be Adrian from Adrian Cozumel Tours. Uh, we'll also be giving you a ship's tour, a ship's tour interviews with Jess, the cruise director, and uh, Caroline, the hotel director, while on board. And our show that week is going to be on Friday instead of Saturday, so be sure to mark your calendars for that as we're going to be flying home. But Friday's show is also going to be live on board the ship, hopefully around the Lido deck. So uh, this is one week of fun that you're not going to want to miss. Sadly, I'll be at home watching it all with you as Matt is going and not me. That's okay, though, because I'm going to catch the next one. <laughs> no bitterness there. Don't worry. Our main cruise is going to be in October, and that's when we're going to have Cruise Week Season 2 applications open to pick the first, the group of first-timers that are going to be going with us. So if you know anyone who hasn't cruised before and would like to, send them to our site, which is cruiseweek.tv, and have them apply. And we're going to be joining the CCPPF group with Shali. I hope I said her name right and didn't butcher it, but... If, the, if not, that's okay. But we're going to be joining Shally and her wild bunch along the Carnival Vista on October 27th. We look forward to exploring both ships and doing our show on board. So don't forget to support us. Uh, hit the support page at cruiseweek.com slash support. Um, and be sure to mention, mention our inner circle group donation that will get you, that a donation will get to get you into. Also, please subscribe to us on YouTube because that really helps as we talk to our advertisers to keep the show going. Um, also, uh, Matt is going to be returning to the show next week and talking about one of the favorite cruise directors that we have of the Carnival Fleet, and that's going to be Jamie D. She's going to be uh, here live to answer all the questions that you have from the crazy, wild, and excitingly fun life of a ship's cruise director. So you'll really want to be here for that show. That's going to be next Saturday at 8 p.m. Until then, cruisers, I, Matt's going to see you next week. So stay fun. <laughs>